two fields which is exploding in the biotech sector right now is clinical research and bioinformatics. But the question which we should be asking today is, which one should you go for? Which has more scope, better future, more salary? Now, all of that comparison and a clear verdict without any bias, all in this one video where we are going to discuss how clinical research and bioinformatics are closely interrelated and how the growth of one is going to support the other. But hey, which one will be the best for you that we are going to analyze. To uh, give you a clear perspective about both, if you are someone who has no interest in drug discovery and drug development, probably both will not excite you. If you are someone who is interested in some other type of research, so probably that will not. But you know, the best part of these two uh, fields is both are growing, both are actually exploding and both are exploding because of only one single reason and that is AI, artificial intelligence. Yes, you heard me right. Now, what, what is going to happen is, let's say that the bioinformaticians are the backstage guys while the clinical research people, clinical research professionals are the front-end guys, okay? So the backstage stage guys are really manufacturing newer ways of developing drugs. But each time a drug comes out into the market that cannot get approval unless there is a clinical research, okay? So now we are going to compare clinical research jobs, cl clinical data management jobs, as well as the regular bioinformatics and AIML jobs, okay? Now, which one has more number of companies that also will matter, okay? So if it is India specific, uh, the verdict can change. If it is any other market, the verdict can change. So without wasting much of our time, let us understand what exactly is bioinformatics. So it's nothing rocket science. It's very simple. Whatever we could do earlier in the lab, we are trying to simulate it inside a computer and find out whether we have a predictable result, result and then only we go and perform it in the wet lab. Now, coming to clinical research, very simple. Any drug has to enter the market, has to pass through clinical research. And clinical research cannot happen in just one hospital. It has to be conducted worldwide. And because India is one of the largest drug market, so the clinical research has to happen in almost every state because the population is diverse. And that is where a lot of companies, especially US companies, because these are the companies which is doing drug delivery and drug discovery, are going to have clinical research happening in India. Now. When it comes to bioinformatics, we have AIML. Now, what will happen with AIML is, with the integration of AIML, now bioinformatics is accelerated. So, earlier what was incomprehensible or we didn't have the computing power, today we have. So, we're using NVIDIA chips and we, uh, using our, uh, you know, latest AIML softwares, we can develop algorithms, right? We can find the patterns in the DNA sequence and then we can compare, we can do gene annotation and a lot more and then we can come to a conclusion, okay, this particular anomaly is there and then we can develop uh, personalized medicine for that. So, this is about bioinformatics and AIML. We know now the differences in terms of uh, the work. But if you are someone who enjoys doing new things, okay, if you are someone who enjoys doing something which has never been done, who likes uh, going into uncharted territories, who who doesn't care about uh, the time consumed of work-life balance, who just wants to, you know, uh, explore science, then you have to go into research and then only bioinformatics AML makes a lot of sense. But if you're someone who likes doing, you know, protocol job, like, okay, I, have, I need a fixed job, nine to five, nine to six, I do this exactly every day and then come back and my job is over, now I can enjoy my life. So if you are someone like that, you should go for clinical research. Now, if it is US market, both are exploding. If it is Europe market, both are exploding. When we come to India, the AIML and bioinformatics side is exploding in the pharma companies, big pharma companies, otherwise startups. The middle, mid-sized ones are not doing it. Why they're not doing it? Because they're too busy doing other regular jobs. So either we are seeing AIML and bioinformatics jobs in bigger companies like Dr. Reddy's, Syngene, Biocon, Zydus, Torrent, or into smaller startups uh, like Biotechnica and various other uh, similar startups which are smaller but want to create a bigger dent. So that's where either they are, there are a lot of jobs in the bigger companies 
or in the smaller startups. But in the mid size, we are still not seeing a lot of uh, movement happening. Now, having said that, the salaries of both is really lucrative. Now, let's look at the fresher salary. So this is something which I'm telling you from my experience. I have placed candidates into various AI, ML and bioinformatics companies, my own, our own students. Now, what we have seen is the starting salary for a fresher. After training, taking training at Biotechnica, uh, we are seeing the salary at 50,000 in hand and 60,000 is the, what, the on paper salary. After deduction, it comes out to be 50,000 rupees per month. So that's for bioinformatics with AI ML expertise, but you should have done at least six months of project in Biotechnica. Now, the second one, which is clinical research. Now, clinical research, if you're just going for a plain, simple, without any training, clinical research associate, no training, they have to give you training. That is where the salary is around 30,000 rupees. But if you have taken training and then you have some kind of project experience, then your salary shoots up to 40,000. So the starting salary of a CRA is around 35 to 40,000 rupees in India right now. But the moment you have experience, it starts exploding. But there is a third type of job in clinical research, which is clinical data management. Clinical research associates are in various hospitals. Now they are generating data feeding into a system and now the clinical data manager is just watching all those systems okay and deciding okay these are the data collated compile a report which can be sent to the FDA so, so which can be sent to the company headquarters so these are the highly paid jobs clinical data manager jobs are even higher now the clinical data management job starts at 70,000 rupees okay and it can go up to 24 lakh rupees as you grow in your corporate ladder so CDM if you want to get into clinical research CDM jobs are highly paid but CDM jobs can be mathematical data analytical in nature so not everybody will fit okay so if you are someone who is not that great in data analysis and all that you can always take the clinical research side of the jobs now the question to be asked now is what core competency you need to get into any of these right now if you are someone who has a very good understanding of biochemistry molecular biology how the human physiology works so you if you are very strong with the biology side of it and you have an intention to go into research then go for bioinformatics with artificial intelligence. Remember, bioinformatics without artificial intelligence is a no-go. Don't do that, okay? Now, the second thing which I would like to tell you here is, if you want to get into clinical research, don't go without training. Otherwise, if the company realizes they have to give the training, okay, they are not going to give you high salary. They will start at a lower salary and that's where you will suffer because your contemporaries with six months of training in Biotechnica would be getting a higher salary, 35,000, 40,000, while you will start at 25,000. So that's one thing you should know. Now, what is the scope, right? What is the future? Let's look at that. So if I say that rocket is the future of aeroplanes, right? Or same way, a car is the future of a bullock cart, right? So we are in the future of that, right? We are in the future of bullock cart. So we call it as a car or a um, rocket or an aer aeroplane, right? So similarly, what is the future of drug discovery, right? The future of drug discovery can be understood if we look at the past. Now, in past, scientists used to play with chemicals, billions of dollars will be spent, tens of years will be wasted, and then we'll finally come up with one molecule which will fail in clinical research. So because the drug discovery process was slow, the clinical research process was also slow. Because of that, the clinical research industry was also not growing but now we can do all of that all the drug discovery thing inside a computer so if we can do everything inside a computer what happens next we can do things faster so uh, probably i think four years ago i spoke in one of the podcasts that 1000 drug molecules will be able to discover every month that's the speed at which bioinformatics and ai is going so if we are able to come up with 1000 molecules and then we can screen okay which ones can be printed in a lab and we do that and then we do the clinical research so of course the chances of success is high we will be able to come up with more drug molecules and that is why the future scope of bioinformatics and artificial intelligence in biology and bioinformatics is glorious and that is why if you have interest in drug development if you have interest in bioinformatics and artificial intelligence, you can take training, hands-on training at Biotechnica, and then you can get placed in companies like Elicidata, like um, Arigen, like Biocon, Syngen, Zydus, and all these bigger companies. Even we also are hiring bioinformatics 
candidates with AIML experience for our Biotechnica CRO. So that's about the future scope of bioinformatics. Now, did I say in the beginning that both are interrelated, the uh, bioinformatics and clinical research? Yes, I did that, right? So the same thing here. See, if we have more food being cooked, then only we can have more people who can eat, right? The same way, if more drugs are being created in the lab, so of course, then only we can have more clinical research happening across the globe. And that means we will have an explosion of clinical research demand, clinical research professionals demand. Now, one very interesting thing which most of you miss out is all these are skill sets. They are not degrees, okay? Many places they will, you know, charge you hefty money and say that, okay, you pay 7 lakhs and I will give you a clinical research training. You don't need that. You just need basic training and project. More than training, you need the project, okay? And that is where Biotechnica comes into picture. So, clinical research, okay, has a very good future scope because of drug discovery acceleration. And if you want to get into this, all you need is a training, hands-on group training, and then individual projects, which we can give you. So we have clinical data management training program. So which is the, that's a hands-on training program plus internship plus project, which is starting from 25th of August. Okay. So 29th of August, we are starting the bioinformatics AIML and clinical research um, batch probably will happen in, by the end of September, because right now the placements are going on for the previous batch. So unless we finish that, we will not start a fresh batch. So that's something you should be knowing. Now, moving forward, I have a very important pointer to share with you. Okay. Please don't enroll into these hands-on training and courses thinking that magic will happen. Magic only happens for those who are attentive during the training program and then they take the projects seriously. I have a lot of youngsters coming to me saying that, okay, if I take this program, will I succeed? No, you won't. Okay. What will happen is we will give you the tools. You have to learn the tools, right? So if it's like if I buy you a racing car, and you don't know how to drive, you have to first learn, right? So bioinformatics, artificial intelligence, clinical research, clinical data management, these are racing cars. Of course, there's a lot of future. Of course, there's a lot of money and scope. Of course, companies like Eli Lilly, Pfizer, uh, TCS in India, Wipro, Infosys, even these companies, Accenture is hiring, but you won't get hired if you don't learn, right? So don't just register in the course which I, which I mentioned, okay? You have to learn. So free up some time in the evening. So most of our training programs are always in evening. So free up your one hour per day in the evening. Take these courses seriously. Right. And you'll see the outcome. You can go on Biotechnica's YouTube channel. You'll see so many candidates getting placed almost every day. Just yesterday, three of my students got placed in Niramai, which is a clinical research uh, company. Right. And they have they have hired um, our candidates and they're all freshers trained with, with Biotechnica. So you can see this is happening already, but only for those who take the training programs seriously. Now, coming back to the video, we now know the future scope of both what will be the highest salary which we can achieve in both of these that's something you should know see if you are going into clinical research the highest salary which you will achieve will be 24 to maximum 36 lakhs per annum more than i have personally not seen somebody getting more than 3 lakh rupees salary per month okay but if i go to bioinformatics aiml i am seeing companies paying crores also Right. So there, there is a clear winner. Like I told you in the beginning of this video, there will be a clear, clear winner. Bioinformatics AIML clearly wins over clinical research. But again, the choice is yours. How do you picture the choice? Let me give you four important key points. The first is what interests you, what you are passionate about that you should choose. The second, what exactly is in demand today? Yes, of course, both are in demand today. The third, Will it be having a demand in the future? Yes, both will have a very good demand in the future. The fourth, can both of them make a lot of money for me? Yes, both. So I think it is fitting the three criteria. The fourth one which I asked is the, are you passionate about clinical research? Are you passionate about bioinformatics? Are you passionate about drug discovery? Are you passionate about artificial intelligence? If the answer is yes for any of these, then click the link in the description. There is a WhatsApp number, okay? You can click there, you can chat with me and our experts and talk to them how exactly we can help you. So it's a personalized way of helping you. This is a generalized way, like I made a video, but personalized way of helping you. You can chat with us, ask your questions, get your doubts clarified. And if you feel this is the right field for you, go ahead.
take it. Now, one last point before I end this video is whatever you choose, keep in mind that execution matters. Okay, you have to study, you have to train yourself and then you have to get placed in the best company. And that is what Biotechnica is all committed about. Now, if you are not committed towards anything, then success won't follow. And if success is not coming to you and if you still want help, you can always write to me at shekhar at biotechnica.org. I'll try my best to reply to you. Most of the emails I reply, some of them I missed. If I miss your email, you can always send a follow-up email. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining and take care. Bye-bye.